Yeah, man. Knock only session. The con drop. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat. We did it again. What they do? Are we driving up. We vibing up. We missing vibrations, but we gaining vibrations. Five eyes, we had. Let's go right in, Isaiah 29. You know, flow through this, connect that to Psalms 89. Enjoy our flow, enjoy our time to knock on the sessions. I pray you're reeling up and the water for all you do for us and everything you're doing for yourselves. Man, you're holding your brother up. I salute you. We salute you. You're holding your sister up man we salute you the water for that you keeping it cold oh. triple honors to you my brother <laughs> let's go allow why Isaiah 29 Ariel, oh Ariel, the city where David encamped. Add you year to year, let the feast come around. Then I will distress Ariel, and there shall be mourning and moaning, and she shall be unto me as a hearth of God, a hearth of the wild. And I will encamp against you round about, and will lay siege against you with a mound, and I will raise siege works against you. And brought down thou shalt speak out of the ground, and 
Your speech shall be low out of the dust, and your voice shall be as of a ghost out of the ground, and your speech shall chirp out of the dust, but the multitude of your foes shall be like small dust. And the multitude of the terrible ones as chaff that passes away. Yeah, it shall be at an instant, suddenly. There shall be a visitation from Hawa with thunder and with an earthquake and great noise with whirlwind and tempest and the flame of devouring fire. Oh yeah, it's all happening. It's all popping up. And Ariel's the city where David's encamped, and you know. And Wa said, "Hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lay siege around this camp, man. You know, not to destroy David, but ultimately to bring his foes down to small dust." He said, "With an instant, suddenly. Can you imagine your enemies being?" <laughs> radiated on you know what I'm saying with this you know um, it sounds like a weapon to me that they're turning into small dust small dust instantly man oh boy let's go to verse 6 there shall be visitation from a while with thunder and with earthquake man it's sound like it's all going up sound like Atlantis fall with great noise with whirlwind and tempest, the flame of devouring fire. That sounds like dragon fire. Verse 7, and the multitude of the nations that war against Aria. Even all that war against her and the bulwarks about her. And they that distress her shall be as a dream, a vision of the night. All our enemies going to be like a dream. going to be like, do y'all remember that we had some hijacks around here? I don't know, man. I thought I had a vision of some hijacks. Maybe I'm tripping. That seems so far ago. That seems so long ago. So distant. That's how your enemies... I mean, look. Remember I said this, man. But while I come with that visitation, your enemies are going to seem like a distant memory, man. Like a dream. Small dust, my knock. Instant small dust. A wah. And it shall be as when a hungry man dreams, and behold, he eats, but he awakes, and his soul is empty. Or when a thirsty man dreams, and behold, he drinks, but he awakes, and behold, he is faint, his soul has appetite. So shall the multitude of all the nations be that fight against Mount Zion. Stupefy yourselves and be stupid. Blind yourselves and be blind, my doctor. You made yourself stupid. You made yourself deaf and blind. What do you think happens when you sever your ties with the infinite one, the infinite source of power, of breath? of security, you become stupid. You know what happens when you take a, a plane with high altitude <laughs> for too long, you know? <laughs> yeah, without oxygen, oh, yeah. you ain't got no breath, you, you're gonna feel real stupid. You're gonna lose your cognitive function because you don't have that, <gasps> wow, stupefy yourselves and Become stupid, man. You blind yourselves with these idols, you become blind. You that are drunken, but not with wine, that staggered, but not with strong drink. For Hawa has poured out into you the spirit of deep sleep and has closed your eyes, the prophets in your heads, the seers he has covered. And the vision of all this is becoming to you as the words of a writing that is sealed. Like Daniel, the books have been sealed. The fact that you are waking up out this dream and you know you've been dreaming means you ain't dreaming no more. You ain't in the deep sleep no more. You're not in the Ruach Tardima no more. Because you realize, hey, I just 
was I dreaming? Like the minute you realize you was dreaming, you out the dream, man. It's time to cool. It's time to rise. Allah why? All the vision, the vision of all this is becoming to you as the words of a writing that is sealed, which men deliver to one that is learned, saying, Read this, I pray you. And he says, I cannot, for it is sealed, and the writing is delivered to him that is not learned, saying, Read this, I pray you. And he says, I cannot, I am not learned. And Hawah said, for as much as this people draw near with their mouths, with their lips do honor me, but have removed their hearts far from me, and their fear of me is a commandment of men learned by rote. Now that means mechanical, that means robotic. Just habitual, you know, and no heart bone, you know, it's just, it's like falling in love with a robot. You got robotic love. You ain't got that real thing. You know what I'm saying? This is what we bring a while. Just repetitious, habitual, mechanical vanity, man. But why don't want that vanity? Verse 14, therefore, behold, I will again do a marvelous work, work among this people. Even a marvelous work and a wonder. And the wisdom of the wise men shall perish. You know what that means? That means you are so wise. For you to have no wisdom is a miracle. Is a <laughs> marvelous work. You just don't understand how wise you are. And their prudence of their prudent men shall be here. That's your knowledge, my knowledge. It is a marvelous work from the creator that you got no knowledge, no wisdom, no understanding, no intelligence. That's how much you naturally have. That it's a marvelous work to take it away from you. You're going to know there's a creator when you realize who you are and that you were put into a deep sleep, a Ruach Tardy mind. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from Allah, and their works are in the dark, and they say, Who sees us? Who knows us? O oh, your perversity, shall the potter be esteemed as clay? <laughs> that the, the thing made shall say of him that made it, He made me not. Now I'm not your creator. You got your idols? Or the thing frame shall say of him that framed it, he has no understanding. You ain't got no mama. They just showed you a potter, he that molds, right? That's your shaper. Molds you as clay. Shall the potter be esteemed as clay? That the thing that made should say of him that made it, he made me not. Or the thing framed should say of him that framed it or her that framed it because now you're talking framer he has no understanding mama saying proverbs 8 i am understanding so here the translators aren't putting it in but we talking about big mama when you talk understanding just read proverbs chapter 8 and get your understanding <laughs> that mama is your understanding your revelation and your breath and your framer and your Abba is your shaper, that vibration you've been missing, that vibration you've been gaining, that shapes you. And after you've been shaped, you're going to turn around to the shaper and say, you ain't shaped me. You're going to turn around to your mama, the framer, and say, you ain't framed me. You haven't given me understanding. Verse 17, it is not yet a very little while, and Lebanon shall be turned into a fruitful field. You know where Lebanon is? We're talking to Mary. And the fruitful field shall be esteemed, esteemed as a forest. And in that day shall the deaf hear the words of a book. And the eyes of the blind shall see out of obscurity and out of darkness. Allah And the humble also shall increase their joy. Allah. 
and the neediest among men shall exult in the Holy One of Israel. For the terrible one is brought to nothing and the scorner ceases and all they that watch for iniquity are cut off that make a man an offender by words and lay a snare for him that reprove in the gate and turn aside the just with a thing of nothing. Therefore thus says Hawah who redeemed Abraham concerning the house of Jacob. Jacob shall not now be ashamed. No more shame on the face of Israel. No more shame on the tribes of Jacob. You can't erase us out. You can't cut us off no more from being a nation. We've been patiently wait. Cold keepers, cold. Why? Neither shall his face now wax pale. You ain't got to be afraid of nothing, Jacob. How quiet. When he sees his children, the work of my hands in the midst of him, that they sanctify my name. Yeah, they shall sanctify the Holy One of Jacob, Aqua, and shall stand in awe of Hawa, the power of Hashirah. They also that air and spirit shall come to understand. Don't trip. You know, your, your spirit feel out of whack. You need you need some food. You got to eat. You shall be fed. You shall come to understand, overstand. And they that murmur shall learn instruction. <laughs> Straight up. All praise the wild for the instruction. That the house of Israel, that the house of David shall rise again. Because the covenant is with the house of Dawid. And that's a covenant that covers all the tribes. You know, all the tribes should be rooting for David because when Judah is back in line, when Judah got that scepter, when Jacob has his proper place, her proper place, you know what I'm saying? Then everything's in order and you have Hawa, you know what I'm saying? You got paradise on her. Or you can hate us and be covetous of us so bad that you want the hijack to be your ruler and your oppressor. And you could be in slavery and bondage. Or you could be living in paradise if you help return and restore the tribes to their rightful place as the head and not the tail. You can't be fighting with your brother so much that you're choosing slavery. You hate us so much that you want to choose captivity? That's how much you hate your brothers? Seeds of Jacob? Is the more and more war is that serious to you? That you got to step on the neck of Jacob as much as you can because you hate Jacob so much you'd rather be in bed with the oppressor? Or do you want to restore these knockers right here? These so-called African Americans? Let's get it, man. Psalms 89, the covenant with Dawi. I will sing of the mercies of Hawaii forever to all generations will I make known your faithfulness with my mouth. For I have said forever is mercy built in the very heavens. You establish your faithfulness. I have made a covenant with my chosen. Why has made a covenant with his chosen, but you hate on these chosen so much, you'd rather be a slave. Damn. You do choose slavery. Slavery is a choice. Because you choose not to give a ha to the brothers and sisters that are chosen. That makes you feel not chosen, and therefore you want to hate on these children of Israel. Seed of Dawi. But you have to realize what it means when David is restored, when the seed of Israel is restored. That means you are also restored. That means your tree is upright again. 
You got to love your tree because of the fruit the tree bears. And if you're a branch out that tree, you can't boast yourself among the natural roots of the tree. You're going to hate on the root, but you love the fruit. You got to love the root. This is the covenant with the root. If you love the root, you love the tree. Or you want to be desolate of life. You don't want the fruit. Then you got to love the root. You got to give the root. Hey, I'm just kidding. I have made a covenant with my chosen. I have sworn unto David, my servant, forever will I establish your seed. I ain't going to take a day off. It's going to be forever that the seed of David is being raised because of my Ahab for who Dawi is, the energy, the frequency, the strong power. Forever I will establish your seed. Forever I will establish your seed. Forever I will establish your seed and build up your throne to all generations. So shall the heavens praise your wonders, Hawah, the faithfulness also in the assembly of the holy ones. For who in the skies can be compared into our power? Who among the sons of might can be likened unto Hawah? A power dreaded in the council of the holy ones and feared of all them that are about him. Hawah, who is mighty. A mighty one like unto thee. Who is a mighty one like unto you, Hawa? Who is a mighty one like Hawa? And your faithfulness is round about. Thou rules the proud swelling of the sea. When the waves thereof arise, thou stills them. You crush Raha. As one that is slain, that did scatter your enemies with the arm of your strength. Your enemies are scattered over. Thine are the heavens. Thine also the earth. The world and the fullness thereof. You have founded them. We are founded. The earth is founded. Not spinning, my mother. Founded the north and the south, thou hast created them. Tabor and Hermon rejoice in your name. Thine is an arm with might, strong is your hand, and exalted is your right hand. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Mercy and truth go before you. Happy is the people that know the joyful shout. They walk a while in the light of your countenance. In your name do they rejoice all day. And through your righteousness they are exalted. For thou art the glory of their strength. And in your favor our horn is exalted. For Hawa is our shield. The Holy One of Israel is our king. Then you spoke in vision to your godly ones and said, I have laid help upon one that is mighty. I have exalted one. I have exalted one. I have exalted one chosen out of the people. I have found David, my servant, allowed. This ain't no JC scripture. This is Tanakh only session. Tanakh only session. There's one exalted. How did you get to another one? Through a swerving, <laughs> through trickery. Well, I'm here to remind you, my Navi, that the seed of David is established forever. The covenant of the seed in the house of Dawi is established forever, and that there is one chosen one out of the people. Hawa has found David with my holy oil have I anointed him. What other king?
can attest to being anointed personally by Hawah with his holy oil and chosen out of the people as one exalted. I have found David, verse 21, I have found David my servant. With my holy oil have I anointed him, with whom my hand shall be established. My arm also shall strengthen him. The enemy shall not exact from him, nor the son of wickedness afflict him. And I will beat to pieces his adversaries before him and smite them that hate him. You got a problem with David? You sure? Is you sure, my knight? I will beat to pieces his adversaries before him. Hawaii will beat to pieces the enemies of Dawi. Hawaii will smite them that hate David. Verse 25. But my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. Hawaii will always have mercy on David and the seed of David, man, as long as you choose up. That's how much love and, you know, honor and heartful, you know what I'm saying, vibration is shared between the energy, the frequency of Dawi and the Creator. You can't do nothing about that but hate on it and be smited, be smitten, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you don't want to be pounded to pieces because of your hate, because of your covetous. Because you want David's things. You want David's stuff. You want the scepter, my noggin. You want to wear that crown. You want to be the exalted one. You want to be the one. You better hold up the one tree. You better restore the one root. So that our house can hold the one scepter. As Genesis says, the scepter would never depart from Judah. And thus and hence is the order. No chaos over here. You with it? You want to restore? Or you want to be smitten? Because I will beat to pieces his adversaries before him and smite them that hate him. And my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. That's why you seek Hawa and King David. Because you want that mercy, you want that faithfulness that's always with the house. That connection with Hawa that will be forever. And through my name shall his horn be exalted. I will set his hand also on the sea and his right hand on the rivers. And he shall call unto me, thou art my father. Who's the father? Who's the son? <laughs> Dawi calls Hawa father. My power, the rock of my salvation, I also will appoint him. Drum roll, please. I also will appoint him my firstborn. Bah. Who's the firstborn of Hawaii? Psalms 89, 28. I also will appoint him firstborn. The highest of the kings of the earth. Who is Preston John? King of kings. Rex Negus. By birthright. This is what we're reading about. I also will appoint him firstborn. The highest of the kings of the earth. You are the head and not the tail. Deuteronomy 28. Let's get it. Forever. Forever will I keep for him my mercy and my covenant shall stand fast with him. His seed also will I make to endure forever in his throne as the days of heaven. If his, cho if his children forsake my law. Uh -oh. <laughs> because I love David so much, this is what I'm going to do. <laughs> if his children forsake my law, they don't want to keep the code. Walk in my ordinances. If they profane my statutes and keep not my commandments, then I will visit their transgression with the rod. I'm going to be Big Papa. <laughs> I'm going to be the Pappy. And just like I smite the enemies, I'm going to smite you. I'm going to get that rod on you. 
and their iniquities with strokes. Oh, you're going to get these strokes from this rod of, <laughs> for your transgression. I'm going to beat it out of you because I love David. <laughs> and I don't want to see you be bad. I don't want to see you go bad. Why your parents got to step up to the plate? Because they don't want to see you be bad. So I said, all right, so I'm going to do all this for David, right? My mercy is forever, right? Forever I'll keep my mercy. My covenant shall stand fast with him. His seed also I will make to endure forever. But because I got you like this, <laughs> in his throne as the days of heaven, because I got you like this, if his children forsake my law and walk not, and my ordinances, if they profane my statutes and keep not my commandments, they don't want to keep the code, then I will visit their transgression with the rod and their iniquity with strokes. But my mercy, <laughs> but my mercy will I not break off from them. Wow. Mama always going to love her babies. Papa always going to love his babies, man. You know what I'm saying? A while always going to love us. My mercy will I not break off from him. Nor will I be false to my faithfulness. My covenant will I not profane nor alter that which has gone out of my lips. Once have I sworn by my holiness, surely I would not be false unto David. I'll never break my promise to have mercy on David. I'll never break my promise to exalt his seed, to exalt his throne. Surely I would not be false unto Dawi. His seed shall endure forever. And his throne as the sun before me, it shall be established forever as the moon and be steadfast as the witness in sky. But thou hast cast off and rejected. Thou hast been wroth with your anointing. You ain't been right with David, man. Thou hast abhorred the covenant of your servant. Thou hast profaned his crown even to the ground. You have broken down all his fences. Thou hast brought his strongholds to ruin. All that passed by spoiled David. You don't care about David. The Christian don't care about David. They care about JC. The Muslim don't care about David. They care about Muhammad. They don't care about the Preston. They spoil the Preston. He has become a taunt to his neighbors. Thou hast exalted the right hand of his adversary. Oh, the confederacy with their treaties. Their right hand has been exalted. Thou hast made all his enemies to rejoice. Yeah. Thou turned back the edge of his sword and hast not made him to stand in the battle. Thou hast made his brightness to cease and cast his throne down to the ground. The days of his youth hast thou shortened. Thou hast covered him with shame. How long, a while? Will thou hide thyself forever? How long, Hawa, shall your wrath burn like fire? Sound like that address flow. <laughs> oh, remember how short my time is. For what vanity hast thou created all the children of man? What man is he that lives and shall not see death? That shall deliver his soul from the power of the grave? Where? Are your former mercies, Hawa, which you did swear unto David in your faithfulness? Remember, Hawa, the taunt of your servants. Psalms 83. How I do bear in my bosom the taunt of so many peoples, where your enemies have taunted, Hawa, where they have taunted the footsteps of your anointed Dawi. Baruch, Baruch, Baruch be Hawa forever. Allah, Dawada, we ain't forgot. We ain't forgot. You ain't forgot. We are here. 
You are established forever, Hawa. Hawa is established forever. Dawi is established forever. The tree is established forevermore. Tanakh only session. For Joy World, for Naga V, Naga's Bill, all praise to our Creator. Remember who you are. Hawa remembers and will never. Will never forget the covenant with his chosen one. That he's sworn into David. Forever, a while will establish the sea and build up the throne to all generations. The Wada, peace and power, shall the one to the tribe, drop nation.